Hi trombone friends, my name is Miss Emily and I work with the Pasadena Symphony and I'm here to help you um, with some guided videos so you can practice while you are at home. So you probably already saw Miss Jackie, she was helping you with some breathing and stretching. I'm gonna help you with buzzing, some long tones, some exercises on your trombone so that then you're prepared and ready to go every day before you practice your band music, the music in your books, whatever solo music you're working on. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is just take your mouthpiece. Okay, we don't need our trombones. If you have your trombone out, go ahead and just put it to the side really quickly. Also, at any point during these videos, remember, feel free to pause, you can rewind, fast forward, all that good stuff. So take your mouthpiece out, make sure it's nice and warm, okay? You can blow a little warm air in it, just in case it's cold. Okay, so before we start our buzzing routine, which is our first video, I just wanna talk about our posture. Our posture is how we're sitting. So I want us to be sitting up nice and tall with our feet flat on the ground. You can move forward to the front of your chair if that helps. And we wanna make sure that our back is straight, okay? It's not like we're sitting on the couch relaxing, eating potato chips, okay? So keep your back nice and straight. Now, why do we want to keep all of this so straight? Because our lungs are inside. And if we're crunching over and our lungs are not straight up, then we're not gonna get as much air as we possibly can. Okay, so go ahead and take your mouthpiece. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on our embouchure. So posture is our number one vocabulary word. Number two is embouchure. Embouchure is all the muscles that are in our mouth that help us create a good sound on trombone. So part of it is smiling like this. Then the other part are our lips and what's called our aperture. Our aperture is how large or small the hole is here. So my aperture is very small and it can get larger. So go ahead, take your mouthpiece. First thing we're gonna do, start off humming a B flat. So let's find that pitch. So everyone hum that note with me, our B flat. Good. Did you find it? Now go ahead and find that on your mouthpiece. Now for that lower B flat, we have to have a larger aperture, but we're still going to keep everything firm. We don't want any puffed cheeks. Okay. Nice and strong here. Like you're saying, Ooh, can you say that with me? Ooh, good. Now, Ooh, and mm, hum that. Now, what happened with me, my aperture was too small and too tight, so I got a higher pitch, so I had to bring it down. Let's do it one more time. Hum it with me. Ready? Very nice. Now, again, for this video, we're just going to stay on our mouthpiece, so keep, keep on holding that. What we're gonna do first, we're going to buzz for four counts, then we're going to rest for four counts. And in that rest, you're gonna take in a huge deep breath all the way from the bottom of your lungs all the way to the top, okay? So before we do that, go ahead and find the pitch on your mouthpiece. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna breathe, then we're gonna buzz for four counts, we're gonna rest for four counts, okay? This is just to get everything warmed up from our mouth all the way down to our lungs. Ready? One, two, ready? notice as you do those more and more you start feeling more comfortable with where that pitch is because it's really easy well not really easy but it's much easier to find notes on our trombone than it is just on our mouthpiece also I don't know if you notice but I'm not covering up the whole mouthpiece shaft okay I'm keeping everything really open so that it's nice and resonant throughout the mouthpiece so when you're holding it if you need to use one or two fingers but don't clamp down on it because we want the sound to come out here Great job, okay, let's do that again. But this time we're going to do six counts buzzing and still just four breathing. Now I have a question for you. Are you using your tongue to make our, our articulation? Okay, we want to have two, two, two. Okay, practice that, 
two, 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 two. Okay? So that when you're using, when you have your mouthpiece up to your mouth, two, 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 oh, oh, oh. and we're not just going, <sighs> okay? So you can always practice those, two, two, two. Okay, now we're gonna do six buzzing for resting. Find your B flat. Find the pitch on your mouthpiece. Okay, ready? Four times, six buzzing for rest. One, two, breathe. One, two, big breath. One, two, sustain, ready? Last one, big breath, ready. Now, very nice job, but if you find that you can't last all the way to the end of that buzzing, you have to take a, dip, a bigger breath and you really have to control your breathing. You don't want everything to just or Okay, so work on those sustained controlled buzzing tones. Okay, very nice job. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, we just did B flat, um, the last part of this exercise, we're gonna move up to F. Okay, so let's find our F. Mm, go ahead and hum your F. Mm. Now we're doing B flat and F because those are the first two partials we get when our trombone is just in first position. Those are the first two notes naturally. So it's always nice for our brain to be able to create those on a buzz. Mm. Okay, go ahead and find that pitch. Mm -hmm. Again, pause if you need a moment to kind of get everything together and practice. Okay, mm -hmm. so now that we found our F, we're gonna do four counts again, okay? Four buzzing, four rest, and breathe in between. Ready, one, two, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, seven time. Mm -hmm. One, two, third time. Mm -hmm. Time, big breath, ready. Very nice job. Now, think was that one a little bit harder because our aperture had to be smaller and our embouchure had to be tighter? Or is that one easier for you because you're used to playing with a tighter embouchure? They're good things to notice. Okay, let's do that with six now. Mm, hum your F, please. Mm, ready with six. See if you can really sustain across all six beats. One, two, Ready? One, two, second time. One, two, third time. Last time, really sustain. Ready? job. Now, eventually with buzzing, you can get to all the different partials on your, on your mouthpiece. Okay. Our last exercise, we're going to do sirens. Okay. So our siren is just like, imagine a, a fire engine and it's a woo. Okay. So just try making that sound really quickly. Woo. Okay. You can use your hand to woo. Okay. Very nice job. This will be our last warm up activity for buzzing. Ready? You're gonna go as low down and as high up as you can go. Ready? We're gonna start low again, ready? Sometimes it sounds like it's a horse winning. <laughs> okay, two more times on your siren. Last time. Good 
good. And as you get more warmed up and you practice that more and more, you're not only gonna be able to go higher and higher, but more importantly, you're gonna be able to go lower and lower. Both the high and the lower registers really strengthen those, strengthen those muscles. Okay, for those of you who want an extra added practice at home, you can start buzzing things like Mary had a little lamb, twinkle, twinkle, little star, and just start going through. And over and over. Buzzing is a great way to practice if at home you can't always practice your trombone. Okay, guys, I will see you for our next video. Bye.